In this video, I'll show a quick demonstration of the integration between Decision Vault and Lawmatics. And this integration goes a little bit further than what most of our integrations do with legal CRMs and case management tools, because it doesn't just transfer uh, contacts, but it can also transmit trigger events, such as, well, for now, when the client submits the questionnaire, that event in Decision Vault can be transmitted to, to Lawmatics where it can trigger the built-in automation flows um, that Lawmatics has. So in this case, um, I have my matter here in Lawmatics. I've created the matter. Maybe this got created by humanity or it got created by an automation, but I have a matter. Um, and then it's time to send the link to get the client into Decision Vault. Um, so the way that this, uh, this template is set up, it shows that it appends this uh, Lawmatics and the Matter ID to the link that goes out to the client. So when the client opens that, they uh, see a similar screen that everyone sees when they get a Decision Vault link and they are asked to register for an account and it drops them into the Matter. But now Decision Vault has um, captured the uh, identifier of the Lawmatics Matter, which means that the client can get into the questionnaire, which looks like this. They can put in information about themselves, put in information about their children, um, put in information about their assets uh, in a very nice and structured way. Um, and once they've captured all this info, they can now submit the questionnaire back to the attorney. Okay, and now if I go back to Lawmatics, um, in Lawmatics earlier, um, we built up an automation that um, runs when a matter, a given matter, is in um, step one of the stages of on the on the matter, and the um, then Decision Vault sets uh, a custom field for that the questionnaire got submitted. Then this can run any different kinds of the native automations that are available to you inside of Lawmatics. Um, so in this case, we're moving it to step number two. Um, so on the matter, if I now uh, look, then indeed um, it has the, the custom field was set, which triggered the automation, which moved it to step number two. Um, so this is a way where um, without your involvement, like the Lawmatics can email links out to Decision Vault that link it back to the right matter in Lawmatics, which then means that on a Saturday night when the client like clicks the link, fills it in, and 20 minutes later submits the questionnaire, then all your automations will just automatically run without um, you having to do anything about that. Um, now, when I go back to that matter in Decision Vault, I can then sync um, this over to uh, more information over to Lawmatics. Now, because of this pre-populated link, we kind of already have an existing link to a matter in Lawmatics. So I can skip and let Decision Vault create a new matter if that's what you wanted to do, or we can just link this one and have it up sync updates. Now, at the at, what this still does at this point is it syncs um, the main contact over. Uh, Lawmatics has some, made some changes in their um, uh, integration interface that will allow us to put push any kind of contacts over. Um, we'll be uh, implementing that here over the next couple months. Um, so you can sync more contacts over if you wanted to, and you could use those in the Lawmatics uh, conflict checks and um, document automations. And now if I look in my Lawmatics matter, then I should see that there is um, there are some there's some more information. Yeah, there we go. So we have a link back to the right matter in Decision Vault. Um, and I have some other addresses and phone numbers and information on this client that have been synced over. That's how the integration works today. Thank you very much.